Cereals belong to the Potatoes, Bread, Rice, Pasta, Eat Well Guide food group. They are a good source of starchy foods which should make up just over a third of the food you eat. Cereals are an important or staple food around the world as they are cheap to produce compared with protein foods. The main types of cereals grown in this country are wheat, barley, and oats. Rye, maize and rice are also cereals, but they are not easily grown in this country. We will follow the food story of wheat to see how it is grown in this country. Barley and oats are grown in the same way. We will see how farmers use knowledge from STEM subjects to practice precision agriculture. Precision agriculture is about using our knowledge and technology to get more for less and make food production more sustainable. A healthy diet needs to include foods from the beans, pulses, fish, eggs, meats and other proteins eat well group. These foods are a good source of protein, vitamins and minerals. Bean and pulse crops grown for protein are grown in a very similar way to the cereal crops shown in the cereals food story. So for the eat well harvest of beans, pulses, fish, eggs and meat we will look at one of the meats. Beef and see how cattle are reared in the UK for meat. We also keep cows for their milk. The two ways of keeping cows are called dairy cows and beef or suppler cows. Cows are mammals just like us which means they produce milk for their young. To do this they must have a baby calf first. With beef cows we raise this calf for meat and allow the calf to drink or suckle its mother's milk for the first few months of its life. With dairy cows we want the milk rather than the calf so we raise the calf on substitute milk and collect the cow's milk by milking her each day. Some of the calves from a dairy cow are raised and then used as milking cows. Some of the dairy cow's calves are raised for beef. The beef they produce is no different from that of a calf from a beef cow. Because they are rarely bred for milk, they can take longer to reach a suitable slaughter weight and so are less profitable for a farmer. We will follow the year in the life of a beef cow, starting in autumn when you start a new school year. A healthy diet should contain fruit and vegetables. These should make up just over a third of the food we eat each day. You should aim to eat at least five portions of a variety of fruit and veg each day.
This food story shows the eat well harvest of some seasonal vegetables that are produced in this country. Carrots, peas, beetroot, Brussels sprouts and tomatoes, for example. Vegetables come from all the different parts of the plant. Vegetables are best eaten seasonally. As plants grow through their life cycle, the part we eat becomes ripe. This happens at different times or seasons of the year depending on the plant. Plants eaten at this stage are freshest, better quality and provide the best nutritional value. They are also often cheapest at this time as so many are available. We can use technology to help extend the plant season. Such that we can eat traditionally seasonal foods all year round. Understanding how we grow different vegetables in this country may help you to decide if it is good or bad to be able to have this wide choice of foods all year round. The White Stuff Six million of these are sold in the UK each day. Some of it drunk by you. That's enough milk to fill 41 swimming pools. But do you know how milk is produced and gets into these cartons? This food story shows the Eat Well harvest of milk. Milk belongs to the Dairy and Alternatives Eat Well Guide food group and includes fresh milk, cream, cheese, yoghurt and fromage foie. Milk and dairy products are a good source of protein and vitamins. They are also an important source of calcium which helps to keep your bones strong. Milk has also proven to be a great rehydrating drink for athletes. Better than other sports aid drinks sold for this. Milk usually comes from cows. Cows which produce milk are usually black and white and called dairy cows. Milk can also come from sheep and goats in this country. Farmers have selectively bred dairy cows for producing milk. Dairy cows are still the same species as beef cows. They are still ruminants which means they have four stomachs. But instead of meat, they have been selected for producing milk. They have much bigger udders than beef cows and produce more milk per day than beef cows. Up to 60 litres per day compared to a beef cow's 15 litres. Dairy cows can still be used for meat they just don't produce as much on each animal or grow to slaughter weight as quickly. So are less profitable for a farmer to keep for meat. The other difference between a dairy cow herd and a beef cow herd is that dairy cows don't tend to calve all at the same time of year. To even out the flow of milk produced by a dairy farm and available for you in the shops, The dairy farmer will usually have cows calving all year round. So let's follow a dairy cow's day. <laughs> 